Today, I want to tell you about a story. In fact, this is chapter three of a story. A story about two friends with a shared passion for metal detecting and the great outdoors. Welcome to the medieval homestead. It's June 2023. It's warm, it's dry-ish. And we're going to be living here for the next few days. We'll be spending our days metal detecting, searching for more medieval silver coins. We'll be living off the land, bathing in streams, eating bacon for breakfast, building fires, and eating flame grilled burgers. This is a story about two friends living life in the wilderness. Hello, greetings, and welcome to another metal detecting expedition. And this is going to be an expedition. I've got Ash, the Southern Searcher, with me for the weekend while camping on the medieval homestead. We're living off the land, we're eating barbecue food, we're drinking beer, and we're camping in tents. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Incredible, incredible, nothing but rain. So this is my first signal of the wild camp and detect weekend. Uh, and I'm right next to the tent, I've got an 83. That's what those coins were giving me, 83, but I reckon it's going to be lead. Well, you never know on this place, it's got such history. You can't come here and not find lead because it is everywhere and look at that it is a big splat of lead a very big splat but we've missed it on previous visits so there's hope so this is my next one i've already dug it it doesn't sound the best signal in the world it's a bit funny but it's worth looking at 85 87 88 it's in here somewhere the earth is so clay like oh god Ooh, we found it oh my god it's lead and it's round and it's got a hole in that is a spindle wall it's a tiny little spindle wall yes it might not be the best decorated spindle wall in the entire world but it's my first find of today the wild camp metal detecting weekender i have to stress finding signals on this place few and far between we've hammered this land but have one have a look at this one 79 80 just there to me it feels like lead what do we have i should just find a hammer i should just find a hammer unbelievable this place is amazing Ooh. It's deeper, it's deeper down. Whatever it is. It's in here. Oh man, it's a chunk of lead. Another big dollop of lead to go with my other big dollop of lead. But never mind. Well, it's about half seven at night. There's Ash up there still going strong with his hammered. I've got something in here. High 70s, I've dug it. It looks round. Now it's nothing exciting, it's just a button. But that is only my second find of the weekend so far. Just a plain Georgian button. Ash has got two signals up there. It's half past eight at night, we're still going, it's spitting, it's raining, it's cloudy. It's absolutely beautiful, we've both got wet feet, but this is what we do. I've got this signal here, but it's too good, unfortunately. But I'm still going to look. Well, I just saw a flash of what I thought was dark grey, but oh my god, what is that? Uh, <laughs> I knew it was too good. Never mind. As always, thank you for joining us today. I really appreciate you coming along today. If you like treasure hunting and you like the great outdoors and you've come to the right place, hit that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. It really helps the channel out. Let's see what we can find on the medieval homestead. This place is amazing. When you pass through this landscape, you can feel the history all around you. It's lush, it's green, the great British countryside in all its glory. Metal detecting here makes me feel alive. It makes me forget about all the troubles in the world. There will always be peace in a place like this. Well, we've had a bit of an excavation here. And I'm seeing white lead, I think. It sounds a bit weird. What is going on there? 
Are we on the spindle walls? That looks perfectly round. I think we are, you know. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I really want a nice spindle wall. That is not a bad spindle wall, to be fair, is it? It's not decorated, but it probably was once upon a time. In my opinion, that is a beautiful find. I'm really happy with that. That has to be medieval. That's two little bits of medieval history I've found on the medieval permission today. Ash has had two bits as well. We are finding the old stuff, but man, signals are few and far between. But it's all about quality, not quantity. Bold statements galore. This is my best signal of the day, and I think it could be my first coin of the day. Talk to me, Jackson. Bold statement, Have you seen my first coin of the day? Oh, get stretched. <laughs> Listen to this. It's deep, it's faint, it's high pitched, high numbers, 87. I'm loving it. Sounds alright for me too. This is going to be a piece of junk now, isn't it? After all this ash. Oh, I don't see anything at all. I don't see anything. Oh. It's deep. Deeper. Right there. Oh mate, it's a silver. <laughs> Thin as well. It's round though. This is going to be a sixpence, I reckon. Oh man, it might be a button. Uh oh, it is a coin. Oh mate, it's William the Fourth. No. Yeah. William the Fourth sixpence. Wow. Look at that. I think that might be my first ever William IV sixpence. I mean, it's worn to hell, but I'll take that, I'll take that. Just take a look at this landscape and the nature around. Day one was epic. But what would day two provide? It's day two, we're back out, we've had a night's sleep in the tents, which went rather surprisingly well. Today we've got the new field, never actually been on this one, so we're going to see what we can find. We had a nice bacon supper, nice coffee, uh, it's, it's dry, it's warm, it's beautiful, let's go. Ow. This is what you call Ridge and Furrow. The field looks like waves in the sea. It's a quiet landscape. But we managed to find some amazing history. This is my first decent signal. It's a 90, but it's a bit too good and a bit too big. So I don't think it's a coin. But I'm certainly going to have a look. Whatever that is, is it, unfortunately. It's just a piece of brass with a bit of wood inside it. Never mind. So this is my next one, I've already dug it. It sounded like that. Faint 85, 86. And I've dug it. It's round and green. Is it a coin or is it a button? Oh my lord, it's a coin. It's actually a coin. It's probably gonna be a William the Third, you know, it's very, very thick. I'm gonna have a closer look at this, but it's not in great condition, is it? It is completely and utterly toast on both sides, but that is 100% a copper coin. I'm going to say William III, but it could also be Georgian, but yeah, cool. Second coin of the trip. Well, it looks like there's been another detectorist on this field. And not a very good one, because there's something in there. And there's another one here. There's something in there. Let's have a look. Well, I've opened the first one up, and as you can see, is a cow tube. Why has he left that in the hole? What a slob. I've opened up the other one. It's an old school bottle top, look. Yeah, <laughs> why has he left that in there? Oh well, two pieces of trash. Out of the field. This is a signal I'm fond of. Nice deep, faint 84. Well, it's probably going to be a deep cow tube. Right there. Oh, no way, it's a little silver. 
I'm going to show you close up. See that? It's a little silver three pence. Got a little bit of imprint down there. Oh, it's Queen Victoria, look. Beautiful little three pence. Date on there is... Looks like 1862, but we're going to give this a little clean up and have a closer look. There you go, look. 1862. Beautiful little tiny Queen Victoria three pence piece. Pure silver. <laughs> Got to be happy with that. I've only found three coins this trip. Two have been silver. Queen Victoria and William IV. What are the chances of that? I've just had this out of the ground, really not sure what it is, but it's got a really old look and feel to it. Possibly bronze, possibly copper of some sort. Not really sure on that. Well, I've literally been going all over this field. There's, there's yellow discs from the other guy who has not done a very good job. And uh, I had a really lovely faint 83, 84 here. Dug it out thinking it was going to be a deep cow tube. And it's silver again complete with imprint and I can't believe I'm saying it again but it's it's another three pence this time it looks like 1858 there you go look at that and it's a much nicer one than the other one that's oh, beautiful let's have a close look and a little clean up of this coin there we go it's looking like 1858 don't think it's 38 there's Queen Victoria again slightly better than the last one still not perfect but I can't grumble at that I've had three silver coins I've only found four coins that is absolutely extraordinary well this is my next one it was coming in 92 it was too good too sweet so I didn't film it and it was very shallow but I think it's an old coin look something I'm thinking it was a half penny that's been hammered on the edges because look how fat the edges are. I think those edges have been hammered in on purpose and they've used this as some sort of coin counter for a game maybe. Something like that. But yeah, it's definitely a coin or was a coin. I'd probably say it was a George third half penny once upon a time. Yeah, let's go. We've been grafting away on this field for about three or four hours now. It's really warm, it's really breezy finds are few and far between but we've proved there's stuff here there's quality finds here we've had five silvers between us ash has had two hammered coins you just have to really work for your finds so yeah let's carry on see what else we can find <laughs> It definitely looks like it's going to rain very soon. The wind's picked up. But fortune favours the brave. And this is my next one. Faint, deep, 86, 87. I like that a lot. Another deep silver coin would be lovely. Probably going to be a deep one. Or a deep cow tube. Whoa. It's further down. Oh my god, the ground is so hard. Whatever it is, is out. It's looking round, it's looking like a button, I think. Oh, it's a livery button, look. With the shank still. Have a look at that. Has it got a, a, a greyhound on it or a dog or something? I'm not really sure, but that is a livery button, probably Georgian, a couple hundred years old, and it's raining. This is without doubt the best signal I've had today. In fact, this weekend. Listen to that. It's high pitched, it's squeaky, it's faint, it's deep, it's small. I can get behind that. Here we go, here we go. Oh. Oh, unfortunately, it is just a round piece of metal. What can you do? What can you do in this life? You have to dig a match. I would encourage you to visit Ash's channel, The Southern Searcher. I put a link to his channel in the description to this video. 
check out his video from this weekend. He found two amazing silver hammered coins. In recent months, he's lost a bit of love for the hobby. Leave him a comment on his video and tell him to reignite his love for metal detecting and history. There's young Jackson up there, he's digging something or other. I just had that really nice signal up there next to that bush, saying it was the best signal I've had all day. And lo and behold, I've got another one, which is even better. I'm getting a 92, 93, it's faint, it's high pitched, it's deep. I really like that one again. If it's another round bit of metal though, I'm going to be uh, leaving the field. I said it's going to be a Victorian sixpence. I've said it's going to be a William III silver shilling. But there's only one way to find out. Oh my God, it's deeper. I'm sure I can see green though, look, unfortunately. But it doesn't matter because that is a coin and it's a bloody big coin as well. That's going to be a George III penny. Look at the size of that. That is cool. It could even be a token. Look at the thickness of it. I'm going to get this out of a closer look. Do you know what? I don't actually recognise what that is. I can see it says door up there though. D-O-R-E or D-O-H-E. I wonder if this is like a George III token of some sort. That is really, really cool. Really interesting. Happy with that. Big coin. Big token. Well, that's it. That's me and Jackson done. The wild camp weekend is almost over. It's been really, really enjoyable. Back on this brilliant landscape, looking for more hammered coins. He's managed to find two absolute jammy yet. I've had a couple of silver coins with three silver coins. Can't knock that. Thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you again on my next adventure, whenever and wherever that may be. Bye. My finds from the weekend were awesome. Three silver coins, unbelievably, and the most beautiful medieval decorated spindle wall. My favorite find of the expedition. The date is heavily warm, but this coin will be dated between 1830 and 1837, the reign of William IV. I always love finding these tiny silver three pence coins, and to find two in the same day is incredibly rare. I suspect lost by the same person. Every time we come here, I say the same thing. We don't come here to find treasure. We don't come here to get rich. We come here to find ourselves. We come here to take time out from life, to slow down. Because when you are here, time does slow down. There is no place else I'd rather be. Thanks so much for joining us today and sharing this metal detected adventure. Must have been love, but it's over now.